And I was at the rally in Newcastle you've just been covering. Yeah. And the state of fear and alarm amongst Britain's Muslims about the atmosphere that we have in the country caused by the kind of terrorism that you've rightly been covering, mm. but also the very ill-conceived idea that ordinary Muslims should be held responsible for acts of terrorism carried out by a few. That's just not acceptable. How, it's, how uh, much causing fear and alarm in my community? Yeah, how, I was going to say, how much of an issue is that for you in that constituency for the election? Because clearly there is a, a huge question mark about, about what to do to prevent the radicalisation of many youths in Britain. Yes, uh, uh, we we do have a problem of extremism, and some of that extremism actually bursts out as terrorism. The point is not just to condemn it but to sort it, to do something about it. And what we're doing is the opposite of what we should be doing. Instead of linking arms with the Muslim community in Britain and tackling this extremism, we're branding Muslims as extremists, almost as a default position. Uh, Muslims are asked to apologize for their faith in a way mm. that a Christian terrorist in Norway, for example, Anders Breivik, uh, would never have been asked to. No Christian in Norway was held responsible for the actions of a Christian uh, who murdered tens, scores of school children uh, in Norway. And it's this double standard that people are very, very angry about. So we're trying to bring people together, not drive them further apart. And I'm afraid that some of the coverage and much of the rhetoric from mm. the political class is dividing our people rather than uniting them.